Cassie, Shane, Dee, Dee, come in. This is a code red level five DEF CON alert. Are you there? I cannot stress enough that it is of the utmost international urgency that you answer me. I am not leaving this chair until Mr. Freezy. Ah, here you go. Hey, come back here. Part of Diet Coke. Not this generic and fizz-free soft drink that looks like a prop on some first-run syndicated TV show. Oh, oh, refresh me. Middle finger straight up mean you're number one in customer satisfaction? Hey, it's... <sighs> Cassie, Dee Dee, oh, good. You're there. Look, this... Where have I been? Wait, never mind where I've been. Where... No, it was not to get the Dos Manos breakfast burrito for Mr. Freezy. If you must know, I was on the other line with Sherman about... Idiot forgot the salsa. What? No, 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 no. That, that, that's code for... You wouldn't understand. Listen, I have the address where the assassination is supposed to take place. Okay, now write this down. It's 12742 Inverness. Got that? 12742. It's a medical supplies warehouse. It's supposed to happen within the next 12 hours. The three of you need to drop whatever you're doing and plan a preemptive strike immediately. Right. Over and out. Who puts ketchup on a breakfast burrito? Ah, yeah! Mm. What's this strange yet strangely familiar taste? Huh? Good night, John Boy. Three career criminals with one shot at freedom. Now they're working for the feds who put them away. These are the women of She Spies. Bad girls gone good. government hospital. What? What happened? Why am I in a hospital? Do you know what acute hydrocephaly is? Can you use it in a sentence? You have acute hydrocephaly. It's just a fancy way of saying you've been in a coma. But I did go to medical school for four years and that's just the way they taught us to say it. How do you feel? Like a giant throw pillow with a head. Mm. Do you remember anything? I went back. I'm not sure where. And everyone was dead. The place was burning. There was nothing left, nothing to keep me there. So I went to see a friend of my father's, Ben Kenobi. He was a wise man. Jack, that's from Star Wars. Oh, right. Yeah, I love that movie. The new ones are kind of dumb, though. Are you kidding? The dialogue. Oh, could it be any worse? Maybe if Jar Jar wrote it. <laughs> So, maybe we should... Ah, uh, the coma, right, of course. You know what day it is? Sunday? Jack, you've been unconscious for over a month. What? What? what no, 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 no. Oh. Now, listen to me. If you want to make a full recovery, you have to do exactly what I say. Okay. And you should know that I tolerate insubordination the way nuns tolerate gum chewing in class, with swift and often very painful punishment. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
You have a nice bedside manner. I'm mm. sure Mr. Dr. Marks appreciates it. Oh, there is no Mr. Dr. Marks. Oh, my God. Well, it's not that hard to believe. I just haven't met the right man. No, I, I remember to have a dentist appointment, and if you don't cancel 24 hours in advance, they charge you. I'll write you a note. <sighs> For now, let's just concentrate on getting you better. A month. I can't believe it. You know, my head just feels so foggy. Well, that's not unusual after this type of injury. Here, let's get you a little more comfortable. <clears throat> you suffered some memory loss. Now, I think it would be best if we went back to the day of your injury. Do you remember your last case? Not really. I work with a team, though, right? Three people. One black, one white, but two are blonde, which would rule out the mod squad. Very good. Do you remember their names? Shane. Cassie. Mm -hmm. And... Starts with a D. Uh, Ends with a D. Uh, Two D's together. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank. It's Dee Dee. Dee Dee! <laughs> right. Well, you can see why I had trouble. You know, they've been very worried about you. They visit you every day. They do? You seem surprised. Don't you have a good relationship with them? It's a great relationship. One that's completely and absolutely based on their accepting my authority. I got word that there could be an attempt on the governor during this show, and they've already started taping. What do you mean you got word? From where? Never mind. No, no, really. How do you get word on something like that? Never mind. And how can you always get word for part of it? You, you always know what's going to happen, but never who's doing it or how. I said never mind. Can we get over there, please? We're just a little confused. And not only trust, but mutual respect. Ouch! Is that hot or what? Come to mama. My toes are starting to curl. Thank you. Hmm. Sorry. We were talking about the plasma screen. That's a new monitor, isn't it? Oh. You thought we were talking about you? Oh, that must oh. be so embarrassing. <sighs> Would my face be red? So, how exactly does it work? You sit around plotting all these various little ways to humiliate me? Sometimes, sure. Like over lunch. Or if we have a few spare moments in the car. Mostly it's just spur of the moment, though. Now, let's make it the spur of some other moment, okay? I've had a bad morning. I'm wearing a tuxedo because our next mission is a wedding, and I was trying it on, and the sales lady stuck a pin in my thigh, and then her five-year-old son spilled a grape juice box all over my clothes, and I have to wear this while my things are getting dry clean, not to mention the fact that on the way over here, I got a $200 speeding ticket and a huge yellow dent in the side of my car when I got sideswiped by a huge yellow Humvee. Our next mission is a wedding? And when you have trust and respect among the people you work with, you can pretty much get anything you need in terms of help and support. I know what's bothering you. The chairman beat you up again, didn't he? He doesn't beat me up. Come on, Jack. Every time he drops the hammer, you go to the blue suit that makes your butt look cute. That you think makes you look more official. That's odd. My memory seems to be coming back in perfectly packaged little scenes. The injury seems to have mainly affected your short-term memory. Try again to remember that last mission you worked on. Oh, can you give me a hint? Like the starts with the D, ends with the D thing? Oh, don't feel pressure now. Dealing with comas and memory loss, it's not an exact science. You simply can't choose what you want to remember. Yeah. Can I choose what to forget? Because there was an incident in 10th grade in the band shack? Oh, no, 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 no. There's no need to rush it. Wait a minute. I'm seeing numbers. There's something to do with the last case. Several numbers, they seem to go together. What kind of numbers? I don't know, they're just random, like they're, they're floating around in no particular order. I'm sorry. That's all I've got. It's all right. Oh. It's a good start. It's a sign. Things are starting to come back. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, you just keep concentrating. Mm -hmm. I'll go consult with another doctor. We'll see what else comes up. I mean, we'll see what else you can remember. <laughs> uh, 
bedpan. He has no idea he's only been here since last night. <laughs> the drug's lasting a little longer than we'd hoped, but it's just a matter of time before he gives us what we need. Yeah. <laughs> Booyah! So what you're saying is, if we start with how, that'll help us figure out who, when, where, and why? Forget about who. When we find out the where, we'll know the who. How will where tell us who? Isn't this getting a little bit convoluted? How? How? Or why? What? I don't know. Maybe we should just go back to the case. <laughs> now, you said you saw some numbers floating around in your head. <laughs> Do you remember anything else? Well, I certainly didn't see you, scantily clad, prancing around the room singing show tunes. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, I think the numbers might be an address. Well, that's interesting. So an address that may be somehow related to your last case? Did you have a pre-mission briefing with your team? What is it? Are you remembering something? The mission. I'm remembering the mission. Excuse me. That belongs to me. Uh, don't think so. <laughs> Mary Tyler Moore and some guy who taught his parrot how to read. I take it if you want to see it. Yeah, thanks. Are you sure that was your last mission? Positive. Pretty sure. Definitely not. Why not? Because I remembered I received a bill for the damages they caused. You have no idea how much those custom tailored jumpsuits cost to repair. Not to Jack. mention the broken glass, broken bones, lawsuits, Jack. insurance claims, oh, and the cleaning crews. Uh, Jack! You're writing about me, aren't you? I'm just noting some surgical alternatives. Surgery? With cutting? That's not a good alternative. Well, if you can't remember anything... I can remember. Watch. <laughs> Wait a minute now. Murder may be one big joke to all of you, but not to me and the little king. It's <laughs> 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 a mattress oxide. <laughs> Laughing gas. <laughs> somebody, somebody turns it off. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone move away and no funny stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just break the valve and lock you in. And the gas will kill you. And there'll be no evidence I was ever here. <laughs> oh, no, 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 it's horrible. All the laughter will, will restrict the esophagus and choke off all the air until we suffocate. It's a long, horrible, ugly way to die. <laughs> Jack, you're remembering the wrong case again. You sure? Did you get a bill for the damages? The little king sued me for malpractice. <laughs> wait, 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 I remember. Seriously, I, I started in headquarters. Mm, I love Pop-Tarts. Mm, me too. You know what's really great about them? You can send them through the mail with no loss of flavor. You're talking breakfast, the conversation begins and ends with Butterfingers. Crispy, crunchy, peanut, buttery. 
That's four of the major food groups right there. As much as I hate to interrupt this, which food is a better breakfast, even though they're technically snack foods meeting? Actually, that meeting was Tuesday. This is the which snack foods do we eat as breakfast, knowing full well they're technically snack foods meeting. And that's a totally different thing. Though easy to confuse. Yes, well, at the risk of missing something just as fascinating. This is Andre Sarlin. I hope our first mission somehow involves frisking him. This is Andre Sarlin. Somebody want to bump Jack? I think his needle's stuck. This is Andre Sarlin. You wouldn't think it'd be that common of a name. You heard correctly. They're all Andre Sarlin. I like the first one best. I mean, if I were choosing, which I'm not. I don't think I'm choosing. Sarlin is a terrorist who cloaks himself in any number of various guises. He's wanted by police agencies all across the world, but has managed to elude capture by constantly changing his appearance through plastic surgery. Looking at picture number three, I think he's due a refund. What sketchy information we have suggests he recently made contact with the successful Beverly Hills cosmetic surgeon, Dr. Sidney Fine. We think Fine performed Sarlin's latest facial reconstruction. Cassie, you have an appointment later this morning with Dr. Fine as a Beverly Hills housewife who has a particular imperfection that requires cosmetic surgery. And that would be? Something no one here in any way whatsoever thinks you actually need. What we're looking for is anything that would lead us to Sarlin, a photo, cancel check, anything. And you two are going somewhere. Ah, I'm not sure where. Just God, give me a sec. It's coming to me. I, 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 damn. That's all I have. It's just not coming. Oh. It's all right. It's all right. You're making wonderful progress. I'm very encouraged. So you won't be cutting me? I don't think so. <sighs> Why don't we take a break, give you a little time to get your thoughts together, and we can pick back up in a little while. That's great. Ooh. Forgot my chart. He's getting there. We have to know if he has the right address and if he gave it to his team. Once we find out, you can kill them all. Then we kill the Secretary General. Any luck? I'm still working on it. Nothing yet. Maybe if we go back to the part you remember, Cassie's visit to the plastic surgeon, that might lead you to the rest. Okay. It was tricky. Cassie's a beautiful woman, and we had to make him believe that she wanted plastic surgery. I'm uh, pleased to meet you. No, you're not. I can see you're holding it in. Um, <laughs> holding what in? The laughter. The continuous, boisterous, mocking laughter that's been the soundtrack of my life? Uh, uh, Mrs. Wangler, I truly... Find my ears grotesque? Your ears. Go ahead. I've heard it all before. They have their own area code. I can hear conversations in Istanbul. If I shook my head, I'd rip off your wallpaper. Um, you'd like your ears to be smaller? Chop them off. I mean, what good are they anyway? Can't the auditory canal do anything for itself? Um, I'm sorry. I, I'm just a little tense. But quite frankly, you're not making things any easier. You're a professional, and I come to you for sympathy, and all you do is stare at my ears. Sorry. Uh, do you have any specific thoughts as to what kind of changes you'd like to make? I want sexy ears. Dainty ears. Lobes that say, lick me. And not those Euro trash ears you foist off on B actresses and 22-year-old widows, either. I have a book of uh, various shapes and sizes. I... <laughs> I'll go get it. Go get that way. Come in. Checking through his files. It's not gonna be there. He's too careful for that. Hello, who's got the big ears around here? What has that got to do with anything? Nothing. I just couldn't think of a comeback that made any sense. Try his desk. Check for financial records. I found a ledger. What exactly am I looking for? 
large deposits of cash. No self-respecting international terrorist uses anything but cash. 50,000 large enough? Do you have a name? John Doe. We got him! Would you be kind of funny if Cassie weren't in the bad guy's office trying to get this done really, really fast? We do got him. 3602 North Irving. Wow, just like that. If this were a TV show, they wouldn't believe it. That's the house. Let's follow him. ran the stoplight. Mm, good thinking. Not only does he get the chair for murder, he loses a point on his driver's license. That intersection has a red light camera. It records everyone who goes through after the light changes. And you can tap into the police database? I could, but first I gotta catch up on my blog. You don't even care if I understand your jokes, right? I care, but it's not critical. Mm. These are all interesting, but what I'm really looking for is something Courtney Cox-esque with a J-Lo twist. Hmm. Would you consider 168B? It's got sort of a bunny hill slope around the helix with a perky anterior to the scaphoid fossa. Do I dare? It's a bold ear. I won't lie to you. But I think you're woman enough to carry it off. So do I. So let's make a date and I'll come back. I have a better idea. Let's not. And you'll stay. Does everyone in L.A. have a gun? I often keep large amounts of cash in the office. That's also why I leave a tiny hair attached to the cabinet doors, so I can tell if they've been opened. And now, for anyone who'd like to tell me exactly who they are and what they're doing here, I'm all ears. Got it. Since they're digital photos, they go into the system instantly. There it is, just an hour ago. Met him? Or should I say, her? I must have made some kind of mistake. Andre Sarlin is supposed to be a man. Unless. Plastic surgery. Oh, you don't think. He switched sexes. I hate when terrorists do that. I hate that too. <sighs> Something's right there on the tip of your memory and you just can't quite retrieve it. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh, it was a woman. Dee Dee sent me the picture, but I can't get a fix on her. I can't remember what she looked like. Well, don't worry. We're getting there. My advice would be to focus on the numbers. That's the kind of specific that will signal a real recovery. And the sooner we see that, the sooner you and I can talk about where we'll go and celebrate. <laughs> Ah, got the whole thigh there, huh? <laughs> He's seen my picture. He hasn't put it together yet, but it's just a matter of time. Prepare the syringe. We may have to knock him off before we find out if he even gave me a dress. So I finally get to kill somebody. <laughs> get memory back. Go out with Dr. Marks. Get memory back. Go out with Dr. Marks. Ugh. Dee Dee and Shane called. They told me Cassie had been captured by the plastic surgeon. They were on their way to rescue her. I'm kind of glad of rescuing Cassie and everything, but it doesn't seem very sporting. Two highly trained martial arts experts against a plastic surgeon. We could shut our eyes. You know who I like fighting? Ninjas. Oh, they're the best. They always flip before they fall. And they make that great whoosh sound when you kick them. Think there'll be any ninjas there? I suppose they could be getting cosmetic surgery like anybody else. They age, they get wrinkles. That's why they wear those masks. And I thought it was that whole cult anonymity thing. Sometimes you just have to dig deeper. Who do you think gets captured the most? You mean between you, me, and Cassie? 
Huh. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem like it was that long since the last time we had to rescue Cassie. Wait a minute. Are we doing a memory within a memory? Yeah, it's almost experimental, isn't it? Power company! What are you doing here? Do you know our motto? You can end Ron, but you can't hide. For buddy, let's see if we can add a few inches on that. Sorry. Now you. Well, well, well. Dire straits. Simple minds. Echo and the Bunny Man. And now, time for another '80s favorite to join us on stage, ladies and gentlemen, the Sweatshop Boy. <laughs> getting stuck with a bomb recently. You guys, it's winding down. It's gonna blow. Maybe I should throw it. Not yet. Why? Well, wait till Thursday, but I might not be here. The bomb's got an electronic ignition. Maybe we can find a way to short it out. Like what? I don't know. Water, something. Water. Let's bring it to the kitchen sink. There are people in the kitchen, dummy. You want to blow them up? I'm the dummy, Miss Girl with the elephant bomb. Why? What are you saying? That this couldn't have happened to either of you? That I'm the only one who ever makes a mistake? A little joke in the face of danger. It's what we do, remember? Sheesh. Keep looking. Champagne, soda, anything wet. Okay, hey, guys, it's getting close. Hang on, okay? There's gotta be something. We're looking, we're looking. All right, that's it. Everyone's up. I'm gonna throw it. The truth is, the real winner is getting captured as a team. Like the time. Did you find her? Only if he's on that new no-carbs diet. Looks like Malloy keeps this as a storeroom for comedy props. And to hold the occasional devil worship meeting. Could we just find the files and get out of here? Yeah, no problem. Money laundering files are usually right next to the rubber vomit. Oh. Ah! Oh. Other time. Jack? Oh, so you're up. It's okay if I set off the alarm. No, you. There's a bomb right below you. <gasps> Help. Max and Booby trapped the house. There are bombs everywhere. On the time. Not do those memories anymore. Oh, let's not do any anymore. This is my attempt to regain my memory, okay? Jeez. They rescued Cassie. I must have talked to them afterwards, because I remember what happened there, too. <sighs> I'm sorry. Remind me again. What are you in for? Ear reduction. Ah. Yes, face peel. Darn it, though. All out of anesthetic. That's too bad. It's gonna hurt when I kick out your appendix. Bravado in the face of doom. I admire that. And I admire how a filthy, rich plastic surgeon is willing to perform facial reconstruction on international terrorists. <sighs> we all do our part. And just how rich is filthy rich? A million. A hundred million. Who are you to tell me, stop now, you have enough money? Nobody at all. I just didn't want to lose face. 
I like that. It has two meanings. <sighs> Glad you like it. Keep me around. We could do more. I'm sorry. You're clearly here because of my association with Sarlin. But if you tell me who you're working for and what they know, I promise not to prolong your death by peeling off your skin one inch at a time. You're offering me choices? Absolutely. You are the man. <laughs> You're right. Too easy. Would have been better with ninjas. That's what we were saying. You think so, too? Absolutely. The noises they make, the way they always travel in groups. And how about how they let one finish fighting before the other jumps in? Yeah, we forgot about that. They're so polite. I love that about ninjas. So they got her out. Then what? God. The terrorist. They had to stop the assassination. I remember. He... Or she was going to kill the secretary general, and they had to get there first. Oh, that's what the address is. Those numbers I'm seeing. I called, and I gave them the address where he was going to get killed. Oh, 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 refresh me. Middle finger straight up mean you're number one in customer satisfaction? Hey. Going through my memory, this is the call where I gave them the address. Oh, this is like one of those special features on a DVD. Jack, directed by Jack, starring Jack, commentary by Jack. You'll note the specificity of the wardrobe. I wanted something here that was comfortable, yet would still convey a certain authority where I'd actually see the girls. was not to get the Dos Manos breakfast burrito for Mr. Freeze. No, that was good. This is very funny. As far as the lighting in the van, I was after something moody, but still bright enough that it wouldn't kill the humor. I think it was, for the most part, achieved. I have the address for the little wordy, little wordy. Let's get to the address, Jack. Write this down. It's 12742 Inverness. Got that? 12742. Aha! 12742 Inverness. That's it! It's a medical supplies warehouse. It's supposed to happen within the next 12 hours. The three of you need to drop whatever you're doing and plan a brand new strike immediately. <sighs> It's back. I remember the address. My memory's all the way back. Dr. Marks! Dr. Marks! What the? Cut's still fresh. Ah, like it happened yesterday. What can that be? A month? It's... Ah, yeah! Oh, my God. It did happen yesterday. The address. They want to know if I gave it to the girls. They want to know if they're going to be there to stop the assassination. And then they're going to kill them. And then they're going to kill me. Jack, what is it? it was what? You called me. No, I didn't. I heard you. No, you didn't. I have it on tape. No, you don't. Oh, that. I, I was just checking the echo in the room. Uh, Dr. Mark! Dr. Mark! Your memory's back. You remember everything, don't you? Hey, who can remember everything? You remember the rest of your mission? You remember the address? No, I don't. You're lying to me, Jack. Lying to you? You think I'm lying to you? Why would I be lying to you? What possible reason could I have for lying to you? I can't believe you even think I'd be lying to and you. now you're stalling. Stalling? You think I'm stalling? Why would I be stalling? What possible reason? Jack! Okay, but it's more of a vamp than a stall. For instance, if I were stalling, would I do this? Enough. I'm gonna give you a shot. I think it's time we helped you remember. Yeah, I'm allergic. You don't even know what this is. For needles. <laughs> Plus, I'm a member of the Christian Science Church. No medical stuff. Those are the rules. An hour ago, you were begging for painkillers. Well, I say rules, but they're really more like guidelines. The picture of Sarlin's coming through, Dee Dee. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, you do remember everything. 
Amazing what they can do with plastic surgery these days. Yeah, yeah they cover every base. <laughs> Don't come near me, or I'll take your temperature in a bad place. Did you give your she spies the address? I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Actually, you're going to tell me, or I'm going to kill you. Now, which is it going to be? I'm thinking. <laughs> I always love that bit. Last chance, Jack. You're trying to scare me. You're wasting your time. I don't know the meaning of the word fear. It's coming back to me. It doesn't matter what you do to me, because no one's going to be able to stop my girls anyway. They're probably already stopping your little assassination attempt. No! <laughs> It'll be bad for my self-esteem, which has already taken a beating today after I realized I spent the past several hours flirting with someone who spent most of her life as a man. And, you know, a terrorist. Jack, the bad guys know you're coming. Be careful. You have to save the Secretary General's life. It's not Dee Dee, it's Cassie. <gasps> Cassie, it's Jack. The bad guys know you're coming. Be careful. You have to save the Secretary General's life. We know. The fight's already over. It is? Yeah, we won. We're 12 and 1 this month. Oh, oh excellent. That's excellent. Good work. If the fight was already over, how come you made me say all that stuff twice? Sheer malice. Are you okay? Because we tried to call you and we couldn't find you. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I just, um, I tracked down the terrorist, managed to subdue him, her, got into a bit of a scuffle. I didn't mention being fooled about a month of coma or turned sexual doctor there. Greatly exaggerating. Glad you're all fine. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Jack. Okay. Food. Ah, uh, yeah. How's the paper cut? It's not a paper cut. It's a foil cut. Completely different. How's a foil cut? It's fine. I'm on antibiotics. For a paper cut? It's not a paper cut. It's a foil cut. Oh, well, that's entirely different. When's the surgery? Yeah, go ahead. Mock it. Sure? Oh, absolutely. Mock away. Okay. Jeez, that looks serious, Jack. We better call the ambulance. Somebody here got a paper cut? It's not a paper cut. It's a foil cut. They're completely different. A foil cut? We're not trained for that. We do heart attacks, broken limbs, it's paper cuts. Wait a minute. I know you guys. Scott Spezio, Adam Kennedy, David Eckstein, 
You guys play for the Anaheim Angels. Oh, that's seven months a year. This is our off-season job. As role models to the nation's children, we felt an obligation to do something that helps people. And since we don't want to give away any of our money, we do this. <laughs> Can you believe this? These guys beat the San Francisco Giants in the series. Oh, right, right. I remember reading about this. You guys are the state champions. We're the world champions. Easy there, big guy. You only beat San Francisco. Yeah, it's not like you beat Nevada or France. <laughs> We're kidding. We know who you are. In that case, how'd you like to be touched by an angel? <laughs> yeah, <it's> very <laughs> professional for EMT. Uh, actually, I'm not an EMT. They just let me ride in the ambulance because I like the sirens. <sighs> Um, getting back to Jack's very serious injury. Yes, is our friend gonna be all right? Never say die, ma'am. That's our model. And don't worry, if things start to look bad, we'll just pull out the rally monkey. Oh, wow! The rally monkey! Oh, God, I can't believe that you guys are the greatest. I can't believe you came all the way over here to mock me. I... Truth is, we were bored. We don't get many calls. People don't seem to want EMTs who just do this in their spare time. Hey, I've got an idea. Maybe next off-season we could work for a secret government organization to rid the world of evildoers. Oh, well, there'd be a lot of training. All hours of the day and night. And you'd have to spend an awful lot of time with us. We, we can, can live, live with, with that. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, wait, wait up. Wait, wait, what, uh, what about me? Uh, you know, you, you can hang out. You know, mock a little more. <laughs> No, but then I was thinking, you know, we get some lunch, you know, we get some batting cages, just, you know, a little catch, just, you know, we could, we could be friends. Maybe we should introduce ourselves. Absolutely. I'm Fritz Coleman, Channel 4 Weather. Fred Rogan, Channel 4 Sports. Boy, that guy was pathetic. Yeah. Whining about a paper cut? Not a paper cut. Foil cut. They're completely different. I've been doing the weather for 20 years, never right. once experienced a paper cut or a foil cut. You know, I've been doing sports forever. You want to talk pain? The pain of floating? An unsightly waterway game? You want to talk... Pressure now. Dealing with comas and memory loss, it's not an exact science. You simply can't choose what you want to remember. Yeah. Can I choose what to forget? Because there was an incident in 10th grade in the band shack. Oh, no, 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 no. No. There's no need to rush it. Wait a minute. I'm seeing numbers. There's something to do with the last case. Several numbers, they seem to go together. What kind of numbers? I don't know, they're just random, like they're floating around in no particular order. I'm sorry. That's all I've got. It's all right. Oh. It's a good start. It's a sign. Things are starting to come back. Yeah. I... Yeah. Well, you just keep concentrating. Mm -hmm. I'll go consult with another doctor. We'll see what else comes up. I mean, we'll see what else you can remember. <laughs> Bedpan. He has no idea he's only been here since last night. <laughs> the drug's lasting a little longer than we'd hoped, but it's just a matter of time before he gives us what we need. <laughs> Booyah! So what you're saying is, if we start with how, That'll help us figure out who, when, where, and why. Forget about who. When we find out the where, we'll know the who. How will where tell us who? Isn't this getting a little bit convoluted? How? How? Or why? What? I don't know. Maybe we should just go back to the case. <sighs> now, you said you saw some numbers floating around in your head. Do you remember anything else? 
Well, I certainly didn't see you, scantily clad, prancing around the room singing show tunes. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, I think the numbers might be an address. Well, that's interesting. So an address that may be somehow related to your last case? Did you have a pre-mission briefing with your team? What is it? Are you remembering something? The mission. I'm remembering the mission. Excuse me. That belongs to me. Uh, don't think so. No! <laughs> Jack. Jack? Can you hear me? Where am I? Who are you? I'm Dr. Marks. You're in a government hospital. What? What happened? Why am I in a hospital? Do you know what acute hydrocephaly is? Can you use it in a sentence? You have acute hydrocephaly. It's just a fancy way of saying you've been in a coma. But I did go to medical school for four years, and that's just the way they taught us to say it. How do you feel? Like a giant throw pillow with a head. Mm. Do you remember anything? I went back. I'm not sure where. and Everyone was dead. The place was burning. There was nothing left, nothing to keep me there, so... I went to see a friend of my father's, Ben Kenobi. He was a wise man. Jack, that's from Star Wars. Oh, right. Yeah, I love that movie. The new ones are kind of dumb, though. Are you kidding? The dialogue. Oh, could it be any worse? Maybe if Jar Jar wrote it. <laughs> so, maybe we should... Ah, uh, the coma, right, of course. You know what day it is? Sunday? Jack. You've been unconscious for over a month. What? What? what no, 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 no. Oh. Now, listen to me. If you want to make a full recovery, you have to do exactly what I say. Okay. And you should know that I tolerate insubordination the way nuns tolerate gum chewing in class, with swift and often very painful punishment. Uh, <laughs> you have a nice bedside manner. I'm mm. sure Mr. Dr. Marks appreciates it. Oh, there is no Mr. Dr. Marks. Oh, my God. Well, it's not that hard to believe. I just haven't met the right man. No, I, I remember to have a dentist appointment. And if you don't cancel 24 hours in advance, they charge you. I'll write you a note. <sighs> For now, let's just concentrate on getting you better. A month. I can't believe it. You know, my head just feels so foggy. Well, that's not unusual after this type of injury. Here, let's get you a little more comfortable. <clears throat> You suffered some memory loss. Now, I think it would be best if we went back to the day of your injury. Do you remember your last case? Not really. I work with a team, though, right? Three people, one black. Cassie, Shane, Dee, come in. This is a code red level five DEF CON alert. Are you there? I cannot stress enough that it is of the utmost international urgency that you answer me. I am not leaving this chair until... Mr. Freezy! Ah, here you go. Hey! Come back here. Part of Diet Coke. Not this generic and fizz-free soft drink that looks like a prop on some first-run syndicated TV show. Oh, ho! oh, refresh me. Middle finger straight up mean you're number one in customer satisfaction? Hey, it's... Um, Cassie, Dee Dee, oh, good. You're there. Look, this... Where have I been? Wait, never mind where I've been. Where... 
No, it was not to get the Dos Manos breakfast burrito for Mr. Freezy. If you must know, I was on the other line with the chairman about... Idiot forgot the salsa. What? No, 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 no. That, that, that's code for... You wouldn't understand. Listen, I have the address where the assassination is supposed to take place. Okay, now write this down. It's 12742 Inverness. Got that? 12742. It's a medical supplies warehouse. It's supposed to happen within the next 12 hours. The three of you need to drop whatever you're doing and plan a preemptive strike immediately. Right. Over and out. Who puts ketchup on a breakfast burrito? Strange yet strangely familiar taste. Huh. Good night, John Boy. There are three career criminals with one shot at freedom. Now they're working for the feds who put them away. These are the women of She Spies. Bad girls gone good. Mary Tyler Moore and some guy who taught his parrot how to read. I taped it if you want to see it. Yeah, thanks. Are you sure that was your last mission? Positive. Pretty sure. Definitely not. Why not? Because I remembered I received a bill for the damages they caused. You have no idea how much those custom tailored jumpsuits cost to repair. Not to Jack. mention the broken glass, broken bones, lawsuits, Jack. insurance claims on oh, the cleaning crews. The... Jack! You're writing about me, aren't you? I'm just noting some surgical alternatives. Surgery? With cutting? That's not a good alternative. Well, if you can't remember anything... I can remember. Watch. <laughs> Wait a minute now. Murder may be one big joke to all of you, but not to me and the little king. It's <laughs> <laughs> an nitrous oxide. <laughs> Laughing gas. <laughs> someone, someone turns it off. <laughs> Oh. Everyone move away and no funny stuff. <laughs> I'll just break the valve and lock you in. And the gas will kill you, and there'll be no evidence I was ever here. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's horrible. All the laughter will, will restrict the esophagus and choke off all the air until we suffocate. It's a long, horrible, ugly way to die. <laughs> Jack, you're remembering the wrong case again. You sure? Did you get a bill for the damages? The little king sued me for malpractice. <laughs> wait, 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 I remember. Or seriously, I, I had certain headquarters. Mm, I love Pop-Tarts. Mm, me too. You know what's really great about them? You can send them through the mail with no loss of flavor. You're talking breakfast, the conversation begins and ends with Butterfingers. Crispy, crunchy, peanut, buttery. Back 
one white, but two are blonde, which would rule out the mod squad. Very good. Do you remember their names? Shane. Cassie. Mm -hmm. And... Starts with a D. Uh, Ends with a D. Uh, Two Ds together. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank. It's Dee Dee. Dee Dee! <laughs> right. Well, you can see why I had trouble. You know, they've been very worried about you. They visit you every day. They do? You seem surprised. Don't you have a good relationship with them? It's a great relationship. One that's completely and absolutely based on their accepting my authority. I've got word that there's going to be an attempt on the governor during the show, and they've already started taping. What do you mean you got word? From where? Never mind. No, no, really. How do you get word on something like that? Never mind. And how can you always get word for part of it? You, you always know what's going to happen, but never who's doing it or how. I said never mind. Can we get over there, please? We're just a little confused. And not only trust, but mutual respect. Ouch. Is that hot or what? Come to mama. My toes are starting to curl. Thank you. Hmm. Sorry. We were talking about the plasma screen. That's a new monitor, isn't it? Oh. You thought we were talking about you? Oh, that oh. must be so embarrassing. Would my face be red? So, how exactly does it work? You sit around plotting all these various little ways to humiliate me? Sometimes, sure. Like over lunch. Or if we have a few spare moments in the car. Mostly it's just spur of the moment, though. Now, let's make it the spur of some other moment, okay? I've had a bad morning. I'm wearing a tuxedo because our next mission is a wedding, and I was trying it on, and the sales lady stuck a pin in my thigh, and then her five-year-old son spilled a grape juice box all over my clothes, and I have to wear this while my things are getting dry cleaned, not to mention the fact that on the way over here, I got a $200 speeding ticket and a huge yellow dent in the side of my car when I got sideswiped by a huge yellow Humvee. Our next mission is a wedding? And when you have trust and respect among the people you work with, you can pretty much get anything you need in terms of help and support. I know what's bothering you. The chairman beat you up again, didn't he? Doesn't beat me up. Come on, Jack. Every time he drops the hammer, you go to the blue suit that makes your butt look cute. That you think makes you look more official. That's odd. My memory seems to be coming back in perfectly packaged little scenes. The injury seems to have mainly affected your short-term memory. Try again to remember that last mission you worked on. Oh, can you give me a hint? Like the starts with the D, ends with the D thing? Oh, 